Well, the end of Season 1 has come upon us. Thank you so much for the support in Season 1 so far of the Newcastle Let's Play. It has been absolutely incredible. One final push of support this season would be fantastic. So can we hit 30 likes to end off this season and push us into the next? Hello and welcome back to some more FM22. Today we finish off that first season uh, of the save against Norwich and Aston Villa, both at home. Uh, as we look to solidify our place in 11th in the league. No chance, unfortunately, of finishing inside the top half, which means uh, Amanda's not very happy with us. But we can hopefully take this platform and move on with it going into the next year. If you have a little look um, at who we have uh, made a deal with, I'm very, very excited. Our first wonder kid of the series, Giovanni Reina. Now, we did sign him for uh, Aston Villa last year. Well into the save. Um, and, you know, he's had a very good year at Borussia Dortmund. He is only 19 years old. I think he can come in and, and play really, really well uh, as our attack midfielder going forward. So, I'm really happy with that signing. He is American, I think. And potentially he will end up playing for England eventually. But uh, yeah, managed to get him for 20 million since the last episode. So I think that's a, a pretty good signing. Um, if we have a little look at how we've got on since last time, we followed up our brilliant 3-1 victory against Leicester with a 3-0 beating of a Burnley with a Bellotti getting two and Calvert-Lewin also scoring there. Uh, we then lost 5-2 to Arsenal in the league. It was a you know a bit of an up and down game. We did go 1-0 up through Bellotti uh, and Sabellos uh, got a goal there as well. But going down 5-2 eventually there. Uh, we then lost 3-1 to Liverpool. Again, uh, Callum Wilson getting his first goal for a long time uh, in that match. So some positives to, to have. And most recently we beat Watford 3-2 with San Maxim and Koundé. And Bellotti all on the score sheet. Currently meaning that we are in 11th place on 42 points. If you told me that at the start of last episode, I would have bit your hand off for it. We're 10 points clear of relegation. No worries about that going into the final day. And in fact, we will either finish 11th or 12th, um, depending on how today's results go. Uh, we will have a look at squad performances at the end of the episode. Because I do, do want to do a little mini season review uh, before we finish off today but this is the team that I have selected for today's match against Norwich we've got Rico starting in goal with Koundé, Lascelles and Rice in defence we've then got Kraft and Lewis as our wing backs with Ceballos and uh, Moutinho in the middle of the park and San Maximin starting behind Calvert-Lewin and Callum Wilson up top so let's get into things hopefully we can get a good uh, victory against Norwich today they are the sort of side that I think we we should be favourites to beat uh, let's get them all faithed up and hopefully we can go out there and smash a few goals past them that's the plan we have been scoring a decent amount of goals recently meaning that uh, you know we're almost positive on the goal difference now so I think we can be really happy with that Callum Wilson's picked up a little knock but it does say we should be able to nurse him through. So that's what we'll go for for now. We'll see how he gets on. If you know he's not looking very good later on. Then then we'll move him for San Maximin and bring on Miggy probably. But uh, yeah, goodness me. What a boring first half this has been so far. But here's Krath. Gets it to Calvert-Lewin. Now into Ceballos. And uh, it's all moving a little bit too quick for me. And Norwich get it clear. Here's Koundé on the ball. Can he whip it forward? No, he can't. Moutinho. Ceballos to Krath now. Krath on the ball. Whips it in. Callum Wilson's there. But can't get near the near the goalkeeper. And Gunn's going to boot it clear here. And it's going to go to one of our players. Yep, yeah, you just knew it. But straight back to Norwich. And here's Shalov. And well, it's 1-0. 1-0 to Norwich City just before the 40-minute mark. And that is a bit of a disaster because we weren't expecting that. They, um, that was very much against the run of play. But anyway... Straight from the kickoff, here's Jamal Lewis. Is he going to whip it in? Yes, he does. Calvert Lewin's there with a header, and Shabayos should have scored. 
but uh, it's a great save from Gunn. And now here comes João Matinho into the middle, and it's Koundé over the bar. That was a chance to level things up. Didn't quite happen, though. Gunn gets it away. Now here's uh, Shabayos to Matt St. Maximin, and now here's Callum Wilson over the top with the shot, and that looked like a man that is struggling a little bit. And I am thinking of selling Callum Wilson over the summer. I would never have thought that, but he's just not really been the same after the first few matches this season. Uh, he's really, really struggled, and yeah, just not, not quite there with it, but uh, 1-0 down as we go into the second half, we're going to demand more from our football inside, we've brought Joe Willock on to try and improve things, and hopefully he will, Norwich corner, oh it's in the back of the net and Billy Gilmore has scored his seventh goal of the season and Norwich are now 2-0 up, and this is an absolute disaster, I don't want to see that again. Norwich up to 14th in the league right now. Uh, they started the day in 17th, so, you know, they're still very much fighting for survival. Shabayos in and Calvert-Lewin scores. 15th goal of the season for him. I do think next year is going to be massive for him now that he's settled into the club, now that we're building our team around him. Him and Bolotti up top next year could be a force to be reckoned with, and that's another reason why I'm thinking about getting rid of Callum Wilson, because, you know, we've got our two main guys up top now, and it's all going to be whether, um, old Kraft gets it in, oh, uh, yeah, it's all going to be whether we can bring in somebody else, I'm, I'm looking at Sebastian Esposito as a potential option, and what a goal that is from Danny Ceballos there, Joel Willock with the assist, and from 2-0 down, we are now back to two apiece, and Shabayos uh, starting to come into his own as well now, which is really, really nice to see, because he, you know, had struggled a little bit since he came in in January, but that is a beautiful goal, and uh, we are now 2 all. We've brought the new wing-backs on, into the middle of Gore's corner, and uh, header over the bar. Well, 10 minutes to go in this match. Can we go and grab the victory? Here's Lodi on the ball. San Maximin. Now Lodi again. Back to San Maximin. Lodi to San Maximin. Lodi again. He's going to whip it in to Moutinho. And Calvert-Lewin's there. And it's now 3-2. We've come from 2-0 down to lead this match by three goals to two. And that was a lovely little move. A lovely exchange between San Maximin and Lodi. And that final ball forward brought Lodi into play. One touch, brought it back to Moutinho, who whipped it in. And Calvert-Lewin was there. And it's now 3-2. And we have completed the comeback. And almost certainly consigned Norwich to a final day relegation scrap. Oh, Lord, can they get themselves a point here? This would be huge for them. And there it is in the back of the net. Rashika with the goal. And... Maybe they deserve that after the way they played in the first half to be 2-0 up in this game and to lose it 3-2 would have been harsh. But as is always with the way with the, with football manager, you can't predict it. And, uh, well, there you go, 3-2 at the end of that. But I, I'm quite happy getting back in. We're getting a point from it. We'll, we'll settle for that. And Calvert-Lewin, another two goals, absolutely superb. Uh, Kunde says where we were too harsh. Right, Moutinho can get that sorted, hopefully. Yes, thank goodness for that. Deschamps was there for France. Um, but yeah, I can't believe Kunde was unhappy with that. So, uh, we've got the match against Aston Villa coming up for the final game of the season. Couple of changes for the final game of the season. Jacob Murphy comes in at right back, and uh, Andrea Bellotti comes in to alongside uh, Dominic Calvert Lewin. So very, very happy with this side going into the final match, and uh, we really are playing some good stuff recently. So I'm, I'm hoping that we can go out there and uh, put the put a smile on the fans' face as we go into the summer. And here's Moutinho straight away, and Koundé gets the goal. And that is exactly the start that I was after. A nice early goal, a nice set-piece goal as well. 
and Moutinho whipping it in, and there was Kunde at the near post, ready to head it in, and it's 1-0, come on the tune, that is what we're on about, and uh, well, Villa down to 10th, as you can see, uh, we're going to hopefully finish 11th after all this is shaken out, and um, yeah, I think overall be very happy with a, a successful platform for, for next season and uh, well maybe not just yet because here's Ollie Watkins now Matt uh, Target and it's Murphy that snuffs it out Shabayos on the ball to St Maximin now to Bellotti to Murphy now Kunde Kunde on the ball loses it and here's Chucky Chucky now running with it to Buenetta to Twenzebe uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, Jamal Lewis cuts it out and now here's Andrea Bellotti with a beautiful chance and he's going to score that every single time that is a brilliant goal from Andrea ninth goal of the season and uh, yeah just a, a beauty into the back of the net and if he can take this form into next season that he's been in over the last few matches he is going to be a 20-30 goal a season striker in the very near future in the Premier League, he's starting to really settle in now, and we're two 0 up in this match. Just as we enter the half an hour mark, here's Rico building from the back. Kunde on the ball. What can he do with it? Whips it out wide to Jacob Murphy now. Murphy on the ball to Shabayas to Bellotti. Back to Murphy. Back in to Calvert Lewin, and it's a good save from Emmy Martinez there in goal. He's gonna boot it forward. Is it gonna go to one of our players? Yes, it is. Declan Rice all the way back to Rico, who boots it forward now to Calvert-Lewin. But he doesn't quite get it, but Lewis does. Here's Calvert-Lewin now to Shabayos, who's running forward himself. And that's another fantastic save from Emmy Martinez. And uh, Moutinho now going to whip it in. Koundé is going to be waiting there, but couldn't get his noggin on it this time. Finally, the end of highlight, but still 2-0 up as it stands and uh, a very good performance so far here's uh, Moutinho into the middle Koundé is there again it's 3-0 now Koundé with his sixth goal of the season all headers I would presume and uh, we've moved him back to the near post and it has certainly paid off in this match 3-0 against Aston Villa just before half time wow 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 and uh, well we scored three goals in each of our last three matches we are absolutely smashing it at the moment in terms of in front of goal which has been our big problem all season here St Maximin into the middle again and Calvert-Lewin hits the bar a little unlucky there and I think I might take Calvert-Lewin off and chuck on Callum Wilson because I think this in all honesty could be his final game for us because you know they're talking about 30 million pounds and and that's a lot of money for for somebody of Callum Wilson's quality that he's shown this season usually I'd agree you know a 30 goal a season striker but he's just not been delivering that this season and I think that the couple of injuries that he's had has has definitely affected him but uh, only 10 minutes to go now and I think we can officially call these the lucky headphones because we have not been beaten on camera since I accidentally started wearing them. Anyway, here's Target on the left-hand side. Pushing forward, gets it in, but Lascelles uh, snuffs it out. Bellotti forward to Callum Wilson now. Wilson back to Matinho. That's out to Jamal Lewis. Lewis on the ball to Callum Wilson. Lewis again. Can he whip it in? Yes, he can. And, well, Willock's there. Oh, it's gone in. Moutinho didn't know much about that. But it has gone in. And it's now 4-0. And the 35-year-old uh, Portuguese stallion knocks it in. And it was Lewis in to Willock. I thought Willock was going to shoot. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Very, very fortunate. But it's gone in. And what a final day performance that is. And we can thank the crowd after that one. 4-0. Very, very happy with that. Um, yeah, very, very well done today. That was an excellent win. So... That is the end of the season, so let's uh, continue on, and we'll see if we can get to that review 
screen. I don't think we need to do the final press conference of the season. Classy Kunde on form, put our arm around, superb in front of goal. And what a first season he's had, by the way. Uh, five goals and an assist in 30 appearances, 7.25 average rating. He is going to be an absolute superstar going forward. Still only 23 years old. Yeah, and, you know, a very, very good sign. It was, he was a lot of money, but I think uh, I think we needed it. But here we go, the season in review then. Uh, let's have a little look. So the new arrivals, I'm hoping this year it doesn't just take you back to the start when you look at them. But here we go. Andrea Bellotti, he was the first one um, that we brought in or looked at bringing in uh, in mid-January. New striker, 28 years old, only 16.5 million that signing, but nine goals and three assists in 15 appearances. Thank you very much. A very good sign. And Dominic Calvert Lewin turned out to be a very good sign in the end. 16 goals and four assists in 33 starts. Uh, seven goals and 12 assists for Jao Martinho in his 32 starts a season. Very, very good. Kunde, we've already mentioned. And Sergio Rico, surprise of the season for me. Um, we brought him in as a backup goalkeeper to Dubravka and he made the number one spot his own and uh, I really don't think we could have done much better than that. Uh, it, he's got the star next to him. They're very, very happy. And, you know, now he's well only worth 12 to 13 million. I thought he might be worth a little bit more. Uh, some of the disappointments, Alfredo Morelos, Jesse Lingard didn't really get going. This season, Declan Rice, you've got to say, 6.78 average rating. Probably not his best, but, you know, was a solid player nonetheless. Um, Munoz will go back to his club. Joe Willock did pretty well. I, I've got to be uh, pleased with that. If we look at our transfers out, uh, oops, is it going to... Hey, it takes you back to the spot. Um, Dubravka, he's probably the, the biggest player that we lost. Um, Joe Linton. Went and scored eight goals for Ren Rene this season. Kieran Clark joined him. So the new Newcastle. <laughs> this season's uh, results, how it unfolded. So we finished 11th in the Premier League. And you can see we had two very good spells. One near Christmas time. Uh, and then one sort of from the Leeds match onwards. As soon as we got our, our five game ultimatum, uh, we only lost two more games for the rest of the season. So... I think we can be pretty happy with that. Only two defeats in the last 11. Overall, I don't think that they're very happy. They're certainly not happy with the FA Cup. But we did get to the quarterfinal of the Carabao Cup. So hopefully next season we can build on that. Moments to remember then. Biggest win, 5-0 uh, was the, the biggest win uh, in the FA Cup. The match to remember was that 1-0 victory against West Ham in November apparently. <laughs> don't agree with that goal of the season was um Javi Mankio against Brentford we watched that on camera it was fabulous and uh yeah I'm really really happy with that one can we go and have a little look at it or not no it doesn't doesn't look like it's gonna let us unfortunately uh the finances then so the club reputation has stayed about the same uh no new sponsorship deals or any of that but we we are Increasing our, our sponsorship money, our broadcast revenue, all of that. Balotti is definitely the most popular shirt that we've sold. Calvert-Lewin, Moutinho, St. Maximin and Shabayos also in there. Uh, this is how we lined up. We've sort of settled on this uh, three at the back formation in, in the middle of the season. And, and we were quite happy with that. Trying to go extremely wide with it. And I think if we buy two... Top quality wing backs uh, in the in the summer. I think that's really going to take this squad to the next level. Potentially some new centre backs to go along with Kunde as well. Uh, but there you go. Top pair uh, assists is Jao Martino. Top goal scorer is Calvert Lewin. Top average rating Andrea Bellotti. So uh, yeah, cannot say any fairer than that. Club awards player of the season Calvert Lewin. Young player of the season Kunde. Rico uh, gets signing of the season. Goal of the season, Aman Keo. Top goal scorer um, was Calvert-Lewin. Top assist was Moutinho. Most player in the matches, Calvert-Lewin was seven. That's pretty damn good. Uh, highest average rating, Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Most passes completed per 90 minutes was Fabian Shah. Uh, wow. 
most overall goals by a player, Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Um, nothing really else to look in there. So let's uh, finish that, and we may well get a little look at our transfer budget for next season. Um, a campaign of disappointment. I'm not entirely sure it would. I would call it that. Um, doesn't look like we have got our new transfer budget yet, but we have got a new season team report, end of season team meeting, um, club vision and expectations meeting. So it looks like we are going to be uh, at the club next season. Our contract does expire, so I think we are going to have to do a little bit better going into the next year. But if I have a look in the... Yeah, we, we still haven't got our transfer budget. It does say 79 million there. It does tend to be slightly different to that. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's where we'll leave it. I, I don't think we're going to bother with the transfer special for, for this summer, um, mainly because I've got the boiler work going on so it's a great chance to actually get forward with the transfer window while that's going on um because i won't be able to record so for this season we're not going to do it of course going forward uh, we, we may well do it and of course uh, a new series starting as well maybe it's already started by the time you see this video not really sure yet championship the champions league is what we're going to be doing and i'm really looking forward to that but thank you very much for your support this season, um, I've, I've really, really enjoyed it. Fantastic uh, football manager series so far. We are going to keep it going into season two, try and take this Newcastle team to the next level. And uh, as long as you guys keep supporting, I will keep producing. So if you have enjoyed it, smash the like button down below. Subscribe for plenty more football manager content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.